from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. A shooting claims the lives of a man and a three-year-old boy in Indianapolis. IMPD said this happened around 930 last night on the northeast side. The man and child were found shot in a car on the 7300 block of Shadeland Avenue. The area is a parking lot of the Shadeland Station Shopping Center. 22-year-old Jay Sean Johnson died at the scene. Three-year-old Armani Booker died after arriving at Riley Hospital for Children. He was killed on his birthday. No arrests have been made. The investigation is continuing, and WRTV is working to get more details about the victims and what happened. Eli Lilly says starter doses of the weight loss drug Zepbound are now available in single dose vials. The Indianapolis based pharmaceutical company says the move will significantly expand supply as it sees continued high demand. Instead of a preloaded injector pen, patients will use a syringe to draw out medicine. The new vials from Lilly will be available exclusively to people who pay out of pocket through Lilly Direct. That's a company platform that helps coordinate telehealth telehealth services and fill prescriptions for patients. All right, heat advisory in place here for most of central Indiana throughout the afternoon and into the early evening hours and it's an excessive heat warning as you work your way to the north. High temperatures this afternoon will be climbing up into the mid 90s, anywhere from about 94 to 96 degrees. And when you factor in the humidity, which is still climbing throughout the day today, your heat index values today generally probably right around 100 degrees. The humidity is actually going to be higher tomorrow, so I think heat index values tomorrow could actually be a little bit warmer and tomorrow's forecast kind of depends on storm chances that'll build in as the afternoon goes on. Today's pretty dry, but some spotty storms will be a possibility as we work our way, Mark, into Wednesday evening. Todd, thank you. And for more stories and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app and find us on Instagram and Facebook.